It's DDK and I'm back today to help you guys go out there and get that cake and be great. Now, in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys some information. It's very, very important information if you are doing dedicated routes. This could be Amazon Flex, Chef Driver, even bigger companies like T-Force Logistics, Spoke Logistics, any kind of dedicated route. This video is going to help you out. Don't forget, I want the money, not the clout. Now, let's just start off with number one. Number one is use an optimization app. The one that we use is called Circuit. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, Circuit does cost $20 a month. And no, they're not paying me for promo. They're not paying me for promo. I'm just telling you guys what I do. Now, you're gonna put your starting point and your ending point in the address and everything in between. So you're gonna put everything in the app. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna optimize the route and it's gonna make sure that you do the route the most efficient and the most, you're gonna save on mileage and you're gonna save on gas using this optimization app. Now, again, it does cost $20, but it's gonna help you in the long haul so you can go out there and ball and not stall. Now, another thing that I do wanna add on to that, to that one is that if you can, if they will allow you to, ask them, can you get the route the day before? You wanna be prepared for the next day. So if you get the route the day before, you can put all the addresses in so you know when you get to the warehouse in the morning, you can just get everything you need to get and then go out there and get busy. Now, that's gonna lead us to number two. Number two is very important. It's like the second most important thing, optimization. Now, oh wait, one more thing I wanna go back. As far as the optimization goes, some of the companies do optimize the route themselves. But with this particular company that we work with, they optimize it for us to go back to the warehouse. And I don't wanna go back to the warehouse, I wanna go home. So we kind of have to do it in the reverse of what they actually put it on the app. So that's the reason why I recommend that you guys get you an app to optimize. It doesn't have to be circuit. It can be any app that you would like to choose. Number two, let's get right into it. Number two is also very, very important. And that is get to the warehouse as early as they will allow you to. You need to be the first, and not the first, one of the first people at the warehouse because you want to get in and get out like a bank robber. This is very important. Because once you if, you, if you come late, guess what? I know you stayed up last night, you was out there getting it in, out there getting tea, smoking, you do it, you just, you just have a great life. But don't forget you have your route in the morning. You need to get up as early as possible and get to the warehouse as early as possible so you can be the first one in and the first one out. Number three, once you, my friend, get to the warehouse, you are already there before everybody else. Ain't nobody else there. You're in there, you can go in there and get busy. Before you leave the warehouse, you need to make sure that you have the stops in order. Have the stops in order before you leave because you don't want to go to a customer house and you got to find a box or find a package. You got to look and scramble through all everything and find the address and all that stuff. You don't want to deal with that. You want to do prep work, prep work, prep work. Prep work to make that paperwork. Prep work is the most important thing in life. Before you do anything, you have to make sure you prep. And as you guys can see uh, back there, y'all see what we did. We have all of the stops in order, exactly how we want them. This right here, my friend, is stop number one. So, this is why I'm gonna give you guys a tip if you are using a car or SUV, or even, even a Sprinter van, uh, cargo van. You wanna put your first five to six stops, if you have a car or SUV, in the passenger seat if you're by yourself. Stack them right here. You don't need to have go all the way to the back to the trunk and all that stuff, put them right here. So all you gotta do is get the bag and go, that's it. You don't wanna be scrambling all that stuff have the first five stops right here. So if I was by myself, I'll put the first five stops right here. I sit them right here. And then when I get to my first stop, I'm gonna grab that joint, I'm gonna go. And we are here to drop off stop number one. <coughs> we are here getting to this funds. We get to this money when you're dropping the crumb. Y'all already know we are here to scope. Yeah, it is. Drop this right here. What up? Step back and with the photo, y'all know those. Mac, we gone. So. Number four, we are here to scope, get it public like Crisco. You wanna move the bags as close to you as possible. As you guys can see, that whole row is gone right there. We went out there and got busy right quick. So now you gotta push them like this. And what you don't wanna do is push them out of order. So you're gonna push them in order, make sure all of them are even right there. That's exactly what you're gonna do. You already know my flow sick like the flu. Guess what, it's freezing out here and I thought y'all knew, let's get it. This one is a tip for a cargo van. 
if you are delivering small parcels, you wanna put everything by the side door, not the back door. Why do I say that? If you put everything in the back door, it's gonna be way more labor intensive. You're gonna have to take everything. Well, first off, you gotta get out the van, walk all the way to the back door, open both doors, get all the parts you need, and then walk all the way down to walk all the way down to the passenger door. Instead, if you buy the side door right here, the side door right there, all you gotta do is have the parts right there, have the names facing towards you, so you can already know which ones you need to get. They all right there in your face. You boop, 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 and take them right to the to passenger seat. It's way easier. It's gonna save you way more time. And guess what? You can be out there on the grind instead of wasting time. So as you guys just saw, when I pushed the packages up closer to the front seat, some of them joints was leaning over, leaning over like fat, leaning back like Fat Joe, right? One of them actually fell in the crease of the seat. This is gonna lead me to number five. So I reached back here to grab a package, right? I grab it, I put it up here. I look at the address, I look at my phone. It's not the right address. You wanna know why? One of the packages fell in the crease of the seat, like right here, fell right here, and I couldn't see it. So, number five is always, 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 let me say it again. Always, 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 always check the address on the package before you deliver it. If I wouldn't have checked the address, I just reached back here, grabbed this bag, and went and dropped it off, guess what? I would have had to backtrack and come and drop the jump, pick up one, and then drop it off, and then drop off the other one back to here. Always make sure you check the address. It's time to put them to rest, let's get it. And just like that, we are halfway done. This is order number 12. Wait, I'm gonna put it on the scale. Guess what? What's that smell? Money. We are here getting to this money. Drop it like it's hot. Step back with the photo, y'all know those. Smack. Let's go. Tip number six. This is a great one. Do not, let me say it again. Do not take the package to the customer's door if they are in a big apartment building. If they in the sky rise and it's 47 floors, why are you going in there, getting on the elevator, going to the 47th floor, find a door, that's gonna take way too much time. All you gotta do is look for the doorman slash doorwoman. You see a doorman slash doorwoman, try to get a package to them. If you can't get in touch with anybody that's a doorman or a doorwoman, go ahead and leave the parcel exactly where the Amazon leave their parcels, FedEx and UPS. You're gonna put it right there. You ain't got time to be searching around, running around the building and all that stuff. That's going to be the fastest way you can get the money as fast as possible. So make sure you do not take the parcel to the customer's home door if they are in an apartment. And we are here on the last one. We went out here to get the job done and get these funds. <laughs> Guess what? It's freezing, so it's time for us to run. Hey, doggy, doggy, it's okay. Step back into the photos. Smack. We gone. And last but not least, tip number seven. Tip number seven. Three of them. Tip number seven. Tip number seven. Three of them. Shout out to Mr. Organic. Now, tip number seven is very, very, very important. This is just. This ain't got nothing to do with just the packages. This is about in life in general. Make sure you read the instructions. You want to just drop this package off, they probably tell you exactly where to drop it off. You might be lost off the building, they probably put it in there that you put this code in so you can get inside the building, but you ain't read it. You just grab the package and try to hurry up and drop it off. You can't get in the building, you just drop it off to the outside. What if it's food? What if it's DoorDash? What if it's anything? Make sure you read the information. Make sure you read the comments, the instructions. A lot of times, this can help you from getting in a bind. What if they told you to go down this street, but you went down this street and it's a dead end. Now you gotta back the van all the way down the street. Look, read the instructions before you get to the apartment. Make sure that you read the instructions because it's gonna save you way more time while you're out there on the grind. And just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope these tips help you guys because it helped us allow a lot today. Guess what? We just made $200 in about two hours and 45 minutes. That's it, that's all. Went out there to ball and I stall. And we use all of these tips that we teach you guys. Also, I do wanna say this. Me and my partner do do this together, so it is a little bit easier for us to do it, especially if you're in a bigger city. If you can, it's only if you can. If you have a spouse, a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, business partner, whatever you may have. If you guys can try to do the route together, it is gonna make it way easier and way, well, I ain't gonna say way faster. I'm gonna guess to make probably, if you did things by yourself for the most part, it probably would add like an extra 30 seconds per stop. 30 seconds to a minute, depending on where you at. 30 seconds to a minute per stop added on. So if you have to get it on, you gotta do it how you gotta do it. But 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, before we go, I do want to say huge shout out to one of the subscribers. They be out there doing them drop off routes. Her name is Dion. So I hope she's watching this video. I, I, I shouted her out in the last video, but I didn't know her name. Her name is Dion. So huge shout out to her. Hey, go ahead and hit the thumbs up on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you would like to. If you don't want, if you don't find this, this useful. If you don't find what I'm saying useful and you ain't out there trying to make no money, I understand. Don't smash the subscribe button and don't smash the like button. You just hit a watch and critique with everything I'm doing. I get it. But if you're here and you learn something and you want to make some money, this is the place to be so you can go out there and get busy and get this cheese. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you lock in tomorrow. It's going back down because all 2024, all we're doing is pulling up this uh, skull, get it pop like Crisco. I will see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it's DDK and I'm on my way.